This lesson will introduce some of the cartographic capabilities of Manifold GIS. In this exercise, we'll create a final map of our project and create a layout, add some cartographic elements, and a final grid. You should have already had your land cover drawing in your current project. If you don't, you can load it now or load the sample land cover from the CD. I'm going to import another drawing for land, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to import it as a component, not as a drawing. And I'm going to go into my Lesson1.map. So this is the map that came with you on the training data. And I'm going to grab the land out of that map. So you can see that Manifold can also read from other Manifold files. And here we have the coordinate system incorrectly. The other thing I'm going to do is import some other drawings. And I'll go into the data directory and bring in the hydrology as an ESRI export file. And we'll bring in one other drawing. In this case, we'll bring in the roads as a shape file. So again, under File, Import, Drawing. And then here I selected Shape and selected the roads. You can see that we have a lot of roads covering a large area, and also the coordinate system is orthographic, so I'm going to have to change that projection. And I already happen to know what the projection is. So we'll set the current projection once again to UTM Zone 18. And we'll set the datum to NAD 27. So that's in place. Let's create a map component by pressing the Create button and then selecting Map, and we'll load land and the hydrology into it. If we open up the map, we can see everything's together. But again, we've got a lot of roads and hydrology on top of the land. So what we're going to do, let's first color our land cover. And in this case, I'm going to load that XML file that has the cartographic representation of each of the land cover polygons. And we'll zoom in just a little bit. selecting the roads, what I want to do is actually clip the roads. We've done this before. I want to clip them with the land cover. So I select all objects and roads, clip intersect with all objects and land. And those, the roads go away. Actually, they don't go away. They've been clipped to the boundary of the land cover. Let's do the same thing for hydrology. So make the hydrology drawing active. And we don't have to change any of our other parameters. We're going to clip hydrology with land as well. Now let's sl slide land back so we can see the hydrology and the roads on top of it. And in the hydrology drawing, I'm going to change its color. And I'll just unselect everything. So the roads are black and the hydrology is blue. And we'll zoom in just a little bit closer. next thing I want to do is create a layout for the map. So under the map, I'm going to create a layout, and I'm going to attach or bind the map to a layout. And the layout is how we create cartographic compositions. Now, if I open up the layout, I really don't like it in portrait mode. So under File, Page Setup, I'm going to change that to Landscape Mode. OK, that's better. And well, let's make this a little larger so we can work with it a bit easier. And perhaps we'll zoom in just a little bit so we can see better. OK, our map is going to need a title, scale bar, north arrow, and legend. But before we add those elements, let's make our map a little smaller. To do that, hold down the Control and the Alt key and click on the map. You can see the grips form at the edge. 
just grab one of those grips and shrink your map down like I'm doing here. So I've just resized my map and I'll place it in the corner because I want to leave some space for my legend and other cartographic elements. In the tools toolbar we can select text and here I'm going to select that and give us a title. And I'll put the title on the top of the map. This area is Ellis Hollow so I'm going to call it Ellis Hollow Land Cover. And then hit OK. That's a little bit small so we'll deselect the text and now select that object and we'll change our size of our font. Here I'm going to make it 30. That's a little better and we'll make it bold. So now I've got a title. The next thing I want to do is insert a legend. And I'll draw a little boxed area for where the legend should go and it brings up all of our cartographic elements. By double clicking on it, I can make a few modifications. So when I click on Customize Legend, I don't like this Rhodes L drawing name, so let's uh, give it something else, or U27 Hydrology. So let's change this to Hydrology. And we'll go back to the Rhodes, and let's just call that Rhodes, so that looks a little better. And same for Land, now we call it Land Cover. You can see I've got two legends in there, so I'm going to double click back on the legend because this little checkbox that says Show Legend will actually place one in automatically. But I, I want to use the legend that I placed in by hand. So there's our legend. We can then look at creating a north arrow, so I'll just click on the north arrow button. And here again, I don't like that north arrow all that much, so I can click on it. It tells me where we can align it or also what kind of style that we can use. So let's try uh, one of these rows arrows. I don't like that one. I like to see north, south, east, and west just to make it look a little more interesting. So we'll use a compass. And again I clicked on the show north arrow so I'll click that off and it will only show the north arrow where I placed it. Alright, let's go back in and create a scale bar. So by just automatically clicking a scale bar, it puts one in, but I want to make some changes. So we'll show the scale bar so we can begin to modify it. I like using the composite bar, and we don't want to just show one meter. Let's make it, uh, let's say, 100. Okay, I'm going to also hit Control-Alt. Well, first, let's uh, turn off the scale bar so we only show one. And then pressing Control-Alt, and clicking on the scale bar, we'll see the grips come up. And in this case, rather than resizing it, I'm just going to move it over so that it fits underneath our legend. And now I'll resize it to get it to fit and just move it into place. Okay, we can also add some additional text on the bottom, some more descriptive information like who made the map and what the coordinate system is. So again, I'll hit the text bar. And this time, though, rather than typing in all the text, We'll put a little bit in, in terms of a cartographer, map created by, I'll write, Joe Cartographer. But for things like the coordinate system and the datum, I'm going to have Manifold enter that itself. By clicking on the component folder, I can click in coordinate system and also datum. And let's put a carriage return between the two of those. As I scroll down, you can see all the other kinds of information that Manifold stores about the project that you can enter. And here it, we've got it entered on the bottom. Turn the text off, hit Control alt again. Select the text and let's move it to where we want. And just like before, we can change the size of the text. I'll make it 12 and you'll notice that the text might be a little bit too large. I'll stretch it out. But there's a little bit too much text, so I'm going to change it back again to 10. And here you can see the text fits in a little bit better. Okay, one final thing we're going to do is add a grid. So let's go back to our map so we can put a cartographic grid in. So under View and Grid, click on Show Grid, 
And let's set our grid spacing to, say, 1,000 meters. And before we select that, I want it to be solid lines. So I select solid lines, hit OK, and you can see a 1,000 meter grid is now on top. We go back into the layout, and you can see the grid in our layout. Right click on the map itself and select properties. Under the border pull down, let's type in or select coordinates grid. And as we do it, you can see a coordinate grid has been placed on the map. And I'm going to Alt, Control, Alt, select the map and make it just a little bit bigger. We'll do the same for some of our text. So there you can see it's relatively easy to create a map. I'm going to show you also how to um, make some modifications in our legend. Here I'm going to make our text in our legend a little bit larger so we can see it better. Instead of 8, we'll make it 10 point size. And here you can change the actual text itself, not only the size, so we could write agriculture or develop. So you might want to do that just to make your map look a little nicer. Click off Show Legend, hit OK. So there's our map. There's a lot more things you can explore within Manifold as well, related to cartography.